You're listening to the R3 Podcast. Did you douche your ass? I'm about to put my penis in. There is no pain you are receiving. (laughs) A dude's asshole is what I'm mounting. (laughs) Is it recording? Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, guys? It's episode 50. It's episode 50. It's episode 50 of Radio Ridley Radio. It's episode 50 of R3. I'm, uh, today's date is November 7th. We're 48 hours into Trump's presidency, and I have a, a right-wing icon with me as my guest today, uh, Spencer O'Neill. I've already <laughs> deported three people on my way here. <laughs> it just, I just got grabbed by the scruff of their neck, and I was like, get out of here. Hey, 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 put me down, <laughs> motherfucker. What are you hey, doing? <laughs> hey, put me down, motherfucker. Why are you? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's just, just the collar and the back of the yep. pant combo. You're out of here. You go on and get. <laughs> you go on and get. Hello. <laughs> but I have a family. <laughs> but my family. I'm yeah. Coming for them too, don't worry. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's uh, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time in the great town of Austin, Texas. We're, uh, we're in the studio. On a, we're doing doubles this week. We're doing doubles this week. Taylor's... Taylor's leaving the pod, man. He's not doing it anymore, and um, he's stepping away for a while to pursue his dreams of being in a band. I was like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I'm playing in my band all next week, so we have to do double episodes. So in the last 48 hours, I will, by the end of this session, I've done four hours of podcasting in the last 48 hours. So 44 hours, your boy's just been, you know, jorking, sleeping until noon, Watching Lego YouTube, studying to bring stuff here to you guys, and then, uh, you know, four hours is this. You're watching yeah. Lego YouTube? Yeah, I watch a lot of Ye- Le- Yego. I watch a lot of, I'm watching a lot of Lego YouTube and gun YouTube. That's like every other short on YouTube. It's like, this piece was only featured in four sets. And then the next one is like uh, a black kid one arming uh, a Draco <laughs> at a shooting range. <laughs> And then an old white guy asking him to leave. <laughs> That's all my sh- YouTube shorts are. Black kids getting kicked out of shooting ranges for going way too hard. For shooting over one one bullet a second. Pa, 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 I'm spitting everywhere. Pa, 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 pa. Hey, brother, can you get the fuck out? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to ask you to leave. You got Gun cr- ranges here suck. Do they? They're uh, the fuck. I came from Alaska where you just go into the wilderness and shoot oh, yeah. at anything. Just go in your backyard. Like, if you go out, you know you're getting shot at. You just kind of mm. get out of the way. You come mm. here and they're like, you can't shoot more than one bullet every 15 seconds. <laughs> like, what? Really? No, it's like one bullet a second. You it's can't like, shoot. That's not real life at all. What am I practicing? I've never I've, I've never shot in a gun range here. Yeah, they're pretty, uh, <clears throat> they wouldn't let my Canadian friend in, which was kind of crazy. Whoa. He can't watch? <laughs> Well, like yeah, no, he couldn't. They, he wasn't allowed. They were just like, like we had a Scottish guy, and I was like, you might get trouble. And then the Canadian guy's like, oh, I'm here, and I go, you should be fine. No. And then he handed a driver's license. They're like, you can't shoot here, and I go, the Canadian. <laughs> well, they're super strict. Like even when you enter in Canada, they ask like, do you have any guns, and what caliber are they, and are they in the car, and do you have like, are there any chance there could be like loose, you know casings or shit like that in your car because dude they're so strict there you'll get so you'll get in so much trouble dude. yeah when i moved here i i took a ferry around canada because i didn't want to get rid of my guns take a ferry around oh because you'd have to took what four days wow yeah. you're from alaska yeah i did not know that yeah i say it all the time you're from alaska i open every set with i'm from alaska oh well i never like stick around and watch i just tell you good set <laughs> uh, the fuck <laughs> the fuck is that that alaska bit was great <laughs> yeah yeah you're from alaska <laughs> alaska somebody at Skankfest told me that i should play in alaska mm. and then now i'm like friends with you we should just go i've told you that i keep sending you festivals for alaska and saying we should do alaska i'm scared of alaska but i wouldn't sweat i feel like <laughs> i wouldn't sweat there no you'd be fine nice no you'd probably still well, it depends when you went uh, you know what i would like move 70, to 80. what if rogan was like we're going to alaska <laughs> I'd be like, the comedy oh, mecca is Alaska. Yeah, the comedy mecca is in Alaska. That way, all the soft pussies won't come bother you. You can just do comedy in in a frozen wasteland of beautiful American uh, trees and elk and shit. 
There's elk. so much elk out there. I bet you he'd love it out there in Alaska. Yeah. He'd be fat from elk. Yeah. I saw I saw somebody at the mothership that was um it blew my mind. I saw the liver king at mothership and I was like I don't remember if that was real or not. So I asked somebody and I was like, "Yo, was the liver king at mothership?" And they were like, "Yeah, and he smelled bad." <laughs> <laughs> and he stunk so bad. I don't know. When I think of Alaska, I think of like a bunch of Liver King guys, and then you're here. No, no, op- complete opposite. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like burly dudes. Oh, okay. It used to be. Now it's pretty. Is it's it gay pretty, now? Yeah, it's pretty gay now. It got like super like. Is it are voted there, red, but it's like super democratic. In are there state. liberal pockets in Alaska? Yeah. Who is there to be? Well, it's liberal in the way it's not like white liberal. So oh. like a lot of um, Samoans move there, and they oh. all vote. They tend to vote Democrat, and then, oh, yeah. And then, like, Philippines, very heavy Filipino population there. In Alaska? Yeah, and they vote red, which Yeah, is Filipinos <clears throat> vote Republican. They take care of all the old people. Yeah, you have to vote in for Trump, man. <laughs> this is the last chance for a real election. I watched the Elon. Elon S- said Selling this. me on Trump while they kill a duck from their backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, pulling fermented eggs out of the ground. You have to vote for Trumping. Trumping vote. Eat the balut and vote yeah. for Trump. Yeah, eat, pulling balut out of the ground and then saying, <laughs> vote for Trump, and just a stinky dead egg in your hand. <laughs> Calling me fat while feeding me more food. Yeah, exactly. That was my whole childhood. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you just, would you just grow up Filipino? I, my best friend was Filipino, so yeah. I was just at his house every day. So was Taylor's. Just eating hot dogs and eggs and rice with banana ketchup. <laughs> yeah, that ketchup tastes like shit. I love fucking, that's the I only thing. That, I hate that fucking ketchup. That was, they used to put it on the lumpia. rice. They put it on the rice. I'm like, why are we putting shitty ketchup on oh, the rice? Oh, I put that ketchup all over the rice. Soy oh, sauce God. and banana ketchup. Uh, you'd wonder why I'm so fat. No. It's, we I gotta pretty find, much ate like three kernels of rice with we gotta find, banana ketchup and soy sauce. Yeah, we got to find a Filipino restaurant in uh, Austin. I think there's one in Round Rock. There's one up north. There's a lady on Facebook Marketplace that just sells lumpia. I've, I've wanted to test it, but I'm like, I can't trust. Dude, if you, dude, yeah, you should buy, you should buy <laughs> some, and then I'll come over and I'll, I'll fucking, I bite into it. I have that scene from Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Just eating pants it. And lumpia. Yeah, yeah, little fat little Filipino me. I transport <laughs> back to my childhood like that dude did in Ratatouille, the food critic at the end. You, have you seen Ratatouille? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's literally me. when I saw Ratatouille. Like, my mom's dead, and now I just, like, chase her food as an adult. So <laughs> when I saw that part of Ratatouille, I was like, yeah, that's it, dude. God damn, they're so good at what they do. My mom just made, like, Midwestern schlock, and I love it. I love it. Any mushy, like, mushy food I love, like gravy on a bread, I'm just like, yeah, I'll eat the shit out of that. <laughs> like, I see, like, French food, and I'm like, that's too much. Put it all together, mush it up. Yeah, put a gravy on it. I'm I do good. like a, I like a, I like a, uh, I like a French dip sandwich, boy. Ooh, yeah. I like to get them juices in that bread. Get that soggy bread. There's mm. something uh, soggy bread's op. It is It's overpowered. It's so fucking, dude. I, I used to make like ham and cheese sandwiches and then just leave them in a baggie. Yeah, in a car. <laughs> just be like, now it's good. Now it's good. Let the condensation or it sticks to the top of your mouth. <laughs> You're like, bro, bros, bros eating, <laughs> bros eating swimming pool sandwiches like for fun, <laughs> just meat and cheese. <laughs> oh, they're mayonnaise. Yeah, and yeah, from, yeah. My family is. Mid-Western. I left my I left my mayonnaise out on the counter, and I was so pissed. My wife woke me up at nine. Th- I went to bed early last night. My wife wakes me up at like ten thirty. She's like. Hey, how long has this mayonnaise been out? And I woke up and I was like, no. <laughs> all my all my caucasity in my body going, no. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that. Leaving mayo out is such an L, dude. Mayo is not cheap anymore. No, it God. isn't. And I go through like a, a, a barrel a day. Why do people, week? dude, I'm saying mayo rules. I, I don't understand the black community's disdain for mayo. It's, it's egg eggs and, and oil. oil. Yeah. It's eggs and oil. That's how white, I know you're white, because we said that in unison. (laughs) We know the exact ingredients. Yeah, it's eggs and oil. I wanted to start trying to make my own, because it's gotten so expensive. Yeah, you get, um, what you get is you get the hand blender. It looks like a, it looks like a garbage disposal on a stick, Mm. and you just put it in there, and it's like, you go like this. (laughs) You make the mayo like this. (laughs) I have a a ninja. Yeah, you could make it with a ninja. You do like, what, do like whole, um. Do you like whole kernels of black pepper oh. and grind it up in that shit. Some fucking olive oil, some fucking just some straight up natural eggs and whip that hoe up and then yeah. 
Yeah, you could just buy eggs and then take like two or three of them and yeah, make I get fresh s- batches. I get 60 eggs at a time for like 10 some, bucks. Throw some sriracha in there before you blend it. Now no, you got a spicy I sriracha mayo. No, I'm not doing that. You're not? Sriracha. Keeping the like colors sriracha. separated? I just, uh, this sriracha thing is. I like sriracha. It's just, it's, I remember when it came out, like when it became a thing. When it became the meta, yeah. Yeah, like, I was, yeah Sriracha, fucking... there was a sriracha boom in t- 2010. Yeah. And everybody was like, you got to put this shit on everything. And now it's like, yeah, I've had diarrhea for a week and a half. Well, then I lived in, like, Seattle, and everybody's like, Sriracha! And it's like, Shut up. <laughs> Sriracha! <laughs> the, the, like, just, just the fucking whitest of white just people. Just a gay guy on a bike. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Chugging just Sriracha. Indi- Indian dudes and white dudes eating <laughs> fucking noodles with Sriracha on it. Yeah, I was putting Sriracha. We're hip. I was putting Sriracha on my ramen a lot when it first came out. And I got sriracha out. I have, like, AD, I have ADHD, like, fixations in some... One week of my, like, for example, I'll just eat one thing for a week. I'll listen to one album for a week, and then I won't touch it for years. Like, I ate a, I was making Italian subs in my house for, like, two weeks. I was, like, making. <laughs> Mortadella. Yeah, Mortadella. Yeah, 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 I was slapping the salami on there. I was throwing the pepperoni on Make there. Make it the Aki way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, frog. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey yo, frog! Give me an Italian on a on a six inch sub, the froggy way, and I'm just in there fucking like uh, vinegar. We had the red vinegar. We had mm-hmm. the oil. I was doing oregano flakes. I was, dude. I was going crazy. Like I was playing Wawa Simulator. <laughs> I was in that bitch just playing mm-hmm. Wawa Subway Man Simulator. Bought a meat slicer just for the two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anytime I see anybody talk dust. about a meat slicer. They all make the same. They're like, I'd use it, but I don't want to clean it. Yeah, so why'd you buy it? Fuck off. You know what I'd do for a fucking meat slicer? Mm. I would make meat slices and clean it. Mm. Yeah, well, can't you just like mandolin? Why don't you just buy a big mandolin and do it by hand? I I think you need the rotation of the blade to to slice them. Because otherwise you're just pushing a blade against meat. Mm. Yep, speaking of trans, I... uh... (laughs) No, I said trans. Speaking of trans, you're just pushing a blade up against the meat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I made, well, back to the mayo thing. I fucking, dude, I made a crazy Italian last night. It was just meat and cheese, dude. I did jalapeno. I did jalapeno. <laughs> I did jalapeno pepper jack salami and pepperoni and mayo, and it was so fucking good. And I was like, bro, I want to do that again. Before I got here, I wanted to do that again, and we were. I ate H E B fucking sushi and I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna regret it. Yeah, the H E B sushi is kind of a weird place for me. I've had it and I'm like, yeah, it's all right. But I'm also like every bite I'm like, this is it. This is the last bite of sushi I'm ever gonna have. I don't trust sushi unless I see it getting made. I think it's the neighborhood. Cause like mm. normally you go into an H E B and you're like, This place is clean, this is nice. This and then is this a... neighborhood I'm like Yeah. The studio... I think I drove too far south. The studio <laughs> is the studio is notoriously in a in a bad neighborhood. We hear uh, we'll hear police sirens. We've had uh, me and Taylor came here to record an episode one week, and there were just two black guys pulled over, two homeless black guys pulled over in a truck, and they're just drinking beer at the front door. Which at least they were responsible black guys. Like I feel like the conversation went like, "Hey, baby, I'm gonna pull over right here. Okay, we're gonna drink a beer too, cause." It's a DUI otherwise. You know, I'd rather get public intox than a DUI any day. And then they both did the thing, and then <laughs> me and Taylor were like, hey, guys, yeah, we're going to have to clear out. I had to put on, I put on my white authoritative voice. <laughs> and then they were like, without any, like, fellas, fellas, eyes, I need eyes on me, <laughs> mouths closed, ears open, get the fuck out of my, <laughs> just teacher mode. Yeah, but uh, they were chill at least. I was re- I was definitely hearing Skyrim music when I was walking up to them. Just doom, <laughs> da, da, dum, dum, dum. This will be the last time you <laughs> tread upon my studio. Doom, 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 doom. Foos, yeah, just <laughs> foos, road on. There's just two homeless black dudes flying, <laughs> ragdolling <laughs> off the front porch. <laughs> foos. That was my favorite thing to do in Skyrim. Like, there's like a table with like Thanksgiving dinner, a long table with Thanksgiving dinner, and I just boost rope, da, a fucking cheese wheel flies across the room. Such turkey an legs awesome. and goblets. <laughs> yeah, turkey legs and goblets. Like, bro, you know that took like 30 minutes to set that table. You get just... the fucking one of the maids walks in and goes, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. Hey, guys, this podcast is brought to you by DickLasers.com. I love dick lasers. I'm such a mischievous little kid with a dick laser, man. <laughs> oh, dude, don't 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 ever ha- don't ever don't ever leave me in public with one of them things, dude. I know I did that. Uh, I was sitting in traffic. I did a, a nasty thing. I did a bad thing. We were stuck in traffic, and I was shining the dick laser on the traffic signs, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a giant penis shooting from the power of my hand. It's so powerful for only $19.99. With a ten percent off at checkout when you use promo code Sweaty, you too can own one of these mischievous, devious, little comic mischief tools. Go to DickLasers.com and use promo code Sweaty at checkout for ten percent off. You'll be supporting the podcast, and you'll have a fun little gag gift that makes you the funniest guy in the room. Five different dicks. Five different dingalings to choose from. I'm trying to tell you guys, you need to go and get you one of these. Go over to DickLasers.com and make sure you use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. Let's get back to the show. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. The oh, fuck? I love Skyrim, dude. I've at least 200 hours of my life have gone to that. The best is starting over. I, I might think- need to do, I might need to light it up. Mm. After bringing it up, I might need to play some. I know. I always get the black horse. Mm-hmm. Black horse is so hard. I haven't played it in a minute. The horse physics suck ass when you try to crawl on a mountain and you just randomly fall like four stories and you and your horse both die. Did you ever get the <laughs> summonable horse? Uh, what, the ethereal horse? Yeah. No. Yeah. The, the, the uh, companion. The, you can summon. It's a spell. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, Then yeah, I should have done that. I, I want to do... I've never done an all-mage build. I'm always like... <sighs> All right, I, sneak archery every time. Yeah, sneak and I archery. Go sn- straight into archery. Sneak and every archery game. is so funny. I like uh, sniping the giants right outside of White Run. <laughs> That's it's so fucking <laughs> funny, dude. The giants. Fuck you. <laughs> you just hear the footsteps get louder and louder. And you're like, "All right, dude, this is it." Fuck. I got stuck on watching dudes play Skyrim, but they've like played like five thousand hours, so they know every little. They're like, "All right, this run, I'm gonna do it," but. Only eating cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, they go into this like cavern that's like off map, and they're like, this is a special cheese that turns you into a, like a hundred percent OP killer. And you're like, how the fuck? Do you? you just the know it. How is it cheese. fun anymore? The special cheese. Like doing these special runs, they know where every item is. Yeah, that's how. Um, that's how it was with like games like Dead Rising. I have all the items, like all the nice items, like the guns and the s- samurai sword and all that shit. I have that shit memorized. That's hilarious. It is like after a while. I don't know. There's something fun about one player games that they just don't. They don't. They're not putting enough eggs in the one ga- one player game basket. It mm-hmm. once multiplayer came out. Now it's just like everything's multiplayer, and then I just fi- have no joy in. Uh, I hate multiplayer. I have no joy in multiplayer anymore unless it's like something like uh, I like Overwatch. I was like, all right, cool. I play Overwatch now. I can't do it because people are too competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to leisure, like, yeah. enjoy. Like, I want to play, like, a realistic shooter, and people are fucking jumping around, sliding on their bellies. Yeah, Omni Movement on uh, Black Ops 6. I haven't played Black Ops 6 yet. Taylor has it. Maybe it's I'll fun. play. It's fun. It's good? Yeah. I don't expect much from Call of Duty ever, so I'm ne- my expectations are always low, and I'm like, that's good. The meta always changes, and I just can't keep up. I don't know what YouTuber to watch who knows all the metas and shit. And then they're like, all right, we're using these guns, this attachment, and then... Meta has ruined gaming. Yeah, whatever. Like, the, like an update comes out, and now your perfect gun that wasn't, like, moving or whatever now doesn't do shit. You know, I find that I, anything, meta, anything that has a meta ruins it, because everybody just does it. Yeah. Like, I play, like, I like, play, like, uh, trading card games, and everybody right. just has the same deck, and you're like, how is this fun for you? Right. Like, how are you, like, the, it used to be fun that you just came up with your own style. Right. And then you, like, face somebody, and you're like, damn, now I gotta counter that. Right. Instead, everybody's like, I got the same deck, same strategy, same moves. Right. And I'm like, you're not having fun. Right. You're, you fucking, this can't be fun. I went to a, I went to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in, like, 2004, and I lost in the first round, and I fucking... <laughs> The guy was telling me the meta at the card shop. He was like, well, everyone's using this card right now, and his effect is... And then I fucking played, and I lost to that effect. And I was like, first place, you got a giant summon skull cardboard cutout, and I really wanted that. And my dad just kind of put his hand on my shoulder, and I walked out (laughs) with my head down, and I cried. Like, I wasn't trying. I didn't want to cry. But just the immediate, like, the excitement of this is going to be fun. 
and then just, oh, no, and then loss, and then just crying to the car. And I didn't even want to cry. It just happened. And I was like, why am I crying over a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? What and was then this, I like started two weeks ago? Yeah, it was about two weeks ago. <laughs> I was in the card shop. Have you ever... Have you ever gone to a card shop and you get like the vibe that they think you're a normie, and then yeah. they start treating you weird? Yeah, like, no. I I used to do like play Digimon and, and do tournaments weekly. Yeah, <clears throat> and they would just like, like I'm a big six foot two dude. Right. Obviously, I did sports. Right. I'm just fat now. Right. And like I don't talk like them. And I had these kids like, yeah, you know how to like, pronounce your R's. Trying to shit talk me over Digimon. I had to stop one kid. I just looked at Michael. Bro. I'll destroy you. I go, I go, you want me to fucking headbutt you? <laughs> <laughs> I go, these are cards. I'll fuck you up. Oh, yeah. I would I go, love... you, you know, watch the way you're talking to me. Have you ever seen First Person Simulator? Mm -mm. It's like a guy who goes out and he, like, edits his videos. Like, POV, I'm going to go in the back room of a Walmart until I get kicked out. Did I show you those? Or no? I've seen them on my Instagram. Oh, dude, this guy. This guy rules. Awesome. I want to do this, but to a card shop. Oh, yeah. I want to do videos like this where I go in a card shop and I'm just like, can I speak to somebody who doesn't smell bad or is gay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fortunate. I don't have a sense of smell. Green Man Gaming. I've always been the guy who smells bad. I've never had to deal with the guy. Who... Green Man Gaming? What is uh, that? It's in Man Gaming. In Man Gaming. You yeah. know who I love? This guy's the best. Watch it, this guy. I think yeah. his name's like Infa Ben or something like that. And he just traps people on elevators and makes them feel really uncomfortable. Who? It's like Infra Ben or Ben Infra or something like that. I want to do this, but for a card shop. <clears throat> it's so funny. This guy goes in, first person life, <laughs> special ops, find the briefcase. <laughs> he edits it and look at his hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the first person. And these people are like, what is this guy doing? Working, working like uh, repair, like for commercial buildings. That's what this. Nobody is. stops you. Right. If you come in with a high vi, you're don't oh, even need that. Just come and act like you know you're supposed to be there. I have a tool. Nobody will stop. A tool belt in a box. I've been in operating rooms in hospitals. What the hell? I'm just like, oops, took a wrong turn. Good evening, and man gaming. Your assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to infiltrate an enemy complex and gather <laughs> intel on the following targets. <laughs> Yeah, this is a great idea. Be careful. It's and incredible. I bet he was laying in bed one night and he's like, I got the best fucking idea. The air containing over yep. 90 percent aluminum. And uh, it's advisable to avoid. They like kidnap him. As they are there likely to. They kidnap him too. <laughs> now we need to finish this quest. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he talks and everything too. Yeah. That thrown away. Back to work. <laughs> the gaming almost, music in I the think background. He just up. Think it. Dream it, do it. <laughs> Where is my office? Here we go. Hey, Donkey. Oh, I'm just going to settle down. Oh, are you waiting for Eddie? Yeah. Yeah, I got a big appointment with Eddie. Okay, just sit down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I he's gone for the day. <laughs> for the day? Oh, you can run it. I've got some real quick. Okay. Yeah, tell him it's, it's for uh, Hank. Hank. <laughs> yeah, this guy literally just fast forward to when uh, the cover is blown. Show them what happens when they. <laughs> He's just in a dude's office recording. <laughs> uh, I'm just talking oh, to somebody. They just got their fucking arm out. Talk to him. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, is this an appointment? Oh, what kind yeah. of appointment? Um, this is Edward Jones. I think you're in the wrong office. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> Taking the office candy paydays, dude. Paydays in the waiting rooms kind of well, um, fucking go to. That is pretty, that's a good. That's a good run business. They're making money. They got paydays in the. Yeah, of course, payday. Oh, I didn't even think so about it. Yeah, I just thought. Okay, yeah. Click to when he. Yeah, find when he's fucking getting like pretty much held hostage or getting kicked out. He's. I'm supposed to document my experience on my first day. Okay, he said. Let's, hold on. Let's stop. Stop a minute. You're in the complete wrong building. So if you could delete all of that right there in our building. My favorite is videotape. fucking women going. Can, can you delete that? You oh, fucking make me. Right here. I found it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is it. We've got. We've got. The music the changes. Look at the radar. Oh no. The radar is the halo. <laughs> fucking two. He's got little red dots everywhere. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why are you chasing me? 
<laughs> what are they doing in there that's so fucking precious? That's more, you know what I mean? Thou doth protest too much. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? We want them trespass? Okay, but leave. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. I feel so scared for my safety. Assault blocking path. He's listing the charges that they're racking up. Excuse me. You're not leaving. Excuse me. Battery. Why do they use the term battery? Is it because you make contact? Um, <coughs> battery is touching. Battery is touching? Assault is just aggression. aggression. So assault, I don't have to touch you to be assault. Assault and battery is when you're like, hey, you fucking bitch, and then you punch If I make you fear for your life, that's assault. <laughs> you guys missed it. Oh, what happened? Escalation. Look. A dumb bitch blocks your path. I did nothing wrong. You're going into people's offices. It was a misunderstanding. There's another exit. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Emergency evac tunnel. <laughs> My favorite thing is just running, like running from people. Yeah, that they yeah. have authority over you. That escalated insanely quickly. Mission complete. <laughs> How did I know? Call the police right now. Some dubstep song that I made when I was messing so around. Funny. That reminds me of Frank. You remember Frank? Phil, uh, Frank. Hassel? Yeah, Frank Hassel. Yeah, Frank I Hassel rules. Frank Hassel makes me laugh my ass off. That guy's funny <laughs> as shit. Fucking Just huge dude. Fucking, what are you going to do? Boogie. What are you going to do? He shoots a gun and he's like, God, shoot me. What are you going to do? <laughs> Dude, that is that is there's something super scary about that. Just uh being a big ass dude and then uh just a big ass dude is hassling you out of nowhere. Yeah. It's in his name. Yeah. It's and so like funny. and like you like not intimidated by it or nervous. Nope. Like if you went up to a dude and he was just like, whatever. You're like, fuck, dude. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I don't want to fight this guy. Not at exactly. work. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, I love that. <clears throat> people, people always expect me to be the hero, like in shit at work, and I'm like, nah. No. I say my shit. No, I don't know. I don't care for enough about anybody here, right? To put myself in harm's way. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, let me check the time here. Sorry, I'm fucking exhausted. Ooh, I'm sleepy, man. <clears throat> I didn't have a Red Bull. No Red Bulls this episode, guys. Sorry. I quit caffeine. You did? Yeah. There's a Is there rough no week. caffeine in this. Oh, there's probably like a little bit. Oh, you. Didn't. I wouldn't consider that. Do you mean like energy drinks? Like, like I don't get up and drink a cup of coffee. Ooh. Or or have an energy drink. I haven't had any coffee or any energy drink. I slept too long today. It was just it was like it took me like a week to recover. I was like Ooh. bedridden and sweaty for like a week. Ugh. That's just probably no why I'm so sweaty. It's all the B twelve. Got so much B twelve. Too much B twelve. I got too much B twelve. I got a little under under the tongue B twelve spray that I take right before I leave. Does I'll that just, work? Oh yeah, I love it. That and honey sticks. I'm a big honey stick You're guy. Always on the honey sticks. Yeah, I think I, th I think he was talking to you we about that. About you were trying that. to make fun of me for it. Yeah, I was. A, just, and then I just went up there and crushed my set, and everybody bombed behind me. So I was like, "Should I have honey?" You did. Yeah, I you did crush. have a good set. I, I, had, see I had a medium set, but compared to everybody else, with that fucking audience after me, yeah. it was rough. Yeah, sometimes the shows there are like that. Sometimes. Yeah, they're just kind of like, please me, peasant. Yeah, I don't like that vibe from the audience. Because the, 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 then I'm like doing all my jokes perfectly, but they're not giving them anything. I'm like, dude, what is up? People go, it wasn't the crowd, it was you. Like I always hear comics say that. It wasn't the crowd, it was you. <laughs> dude, a lot of the time it's them. That's why when You can I tell when you watch a guy and it's them and yeah. versus the crowd. Yeah. Well, I, I've done one where it's like, I have this new opening of how to crack people that are like that. And it's like... I need you guys all, this is what I do for a living, right? I know you guys are all off work, but I need you to reclaim the souls that were taken from you by that day job and just indulge me for a little bit and maybe we can have a little bit of fun. Does that sound good? And they're like, yeah, okay. <clears throat> You're nicer guy. than me. It, no, 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 no. And then I was like, does that sound <laughs> good? And they're like, you know what? Let's give this guy. Yeah. And they start they clapping, a little bit of clapping in the beginning. And I go, all right, here's everything I hate about black people. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then that gets a huge pop. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Because then you you give, you put them you put their minds in this like, hey, maybe I am not living my life. Maybe life is just happening to me and I'm just sitting here. You know, I'm not actively participating in 
in you know life experiences, and then you hit them with a racist joke. Yeah, and then they're like, "I love a good racist joke." Then they're then they're just disarmed. <laughs> well, it's like I don't even go into like I, I just say here's everything I hate about black people, and then they, boom, big pop, and it's like they get it. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah, they get the they get. What, you don't what need I'm to actually doing. make a list. Yeah, no, like I'm, I'm done. But no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just doing like a. I made I'm, a list. And I didn't send it. That's what my that's what oh, was, my therapist Jesus told me to Christ. do. Make a, your therapist just, told you to. I just have if I ever get in trouble, they're gonna find a drawer full of just lists. Venezuelans. <laughs> I hate about every race. Venezuelans <laughs> taking over apartment complexes in Aurora. Poor. Poor. Dude, have you heard White about that? White passable. Not a big fan of that. Have you heard sneaking about sneaking into our? our <laughs> White passing I Latinos. You, I don't want you sneaking in amongst us, and then I find out you're, you're like, speaking yo, Spanish and yo, eating why cheese is this, on yeah. bread. Why is this white guy? It's like a white guy wearing an Aeropostal polo <laughs> in Air Forces and driving like a New Edge Mustang. Speaking fucking perfect Spanish. <laughs> I got a buddy like that, and he, yeah. he would always get into fights with Mexicans. Oh, he would. And he would just start cussing them out in Spanish. And I'm nice. like, I guess we're fighting Mexicans now. Jeez. <laughs> They'll fight too. My Mexican stepdad, he was like, uh, like trading me, and he, um, he's like, let me show you something. He was training or trading? Training. Oh, okay. He's training me a little bit in the living room. He was like, uh, here, let me show you something. He goes, step back. Okay, step forward. Step back. Step forward. Step back. I step forward, and then he fucking puts his, he steps on my foot and just starts going like this, <laughs> like he's lighting me up. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Put all your weight on a foot. Put all That's your, how your stepdad sounds? Yeah. Michael, put your boot on there. Booty on there. <laughs> put your foot on there. And then he's stuck. He can't no moving. He can't no moving. He's stuck. <coughs> and I'm just like, you're right, dude. I am stuck. It's I like, have a Mexican stepdad, and I wish he sounded like that. You have a Mexican stepdad? I too? do, and I didn't actually realize he was Mexican until I was like 28. Did we grow up the same way? Just Filipino food and <laughs> Filipino Mexican food and stepdad? Mexican. And white mom? White mom. No, you had a Filipino mom, didn't Filipino mom, yeah. 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 White mom was always goaded. <clears throat> I used to go to my friend's house and sleep over there, and they made, like, steaks and corn on the cob and mashed potatoes and, like, a Caesar salad, and I was like, God, dude, this is all I've you ever were going, wanted. Yeah, you weren't going to my family. My, it was, like, casserole. Oh. <laughs> was like, yeah, I got that with my wife's family. You want some meatloaf? Because that's what we're having. They did. I'd be fucking giddy. They did, uh... They used to do this thing called like clam corn. Yeah, it was like creamed corn with clams in it. You also what grew up in Virginia, didn't you? Yeah, but these people it's or my wife's family is from Montana. Oh, okay. My wife's family's from Montana, but they had like this family dish. It was like it was like fucking clams and corn. And I was like, dude, this is disgusting. Yeah, it's just, And they were awful. super hype, like seeing my wife stoked about this clam <laughs> corn casserole <laughs> shit. I was like, oh, oh fuck. No. I've married into the wrong kind of white. <laughs> where's my steak and, yeah. and potatoes and green yeah, peas? Yeah, where's the little pug? You guys supposed to, yeah, my, my friend uh, Hayden, he had a pug. He had a pug, and then uh, his room was cool as fuck, too. He had a speed bag in his room, and he had uh, all the Rockies, like, posters and memorabilia. And the mountain range? No, Rocky Balboa. Oh, I thought he was just geology guy no and uh yeah he was a rocky fan and he liked godzilla so he had like these old vintage godzilla action figures and black and white godzilla posters and i was like dude this kid's cool as fuck he could have honestly the kind of white family that would build a uh they would build a uh a fire station pole to get to the living room (laughs) that kind of white yeah our stairs our stairs there's a slide take the slide like lemony snicket's white (laughs) <laughs> Try the slide. There's a yeah. I'll I'll see you guys in the movie room. All their drinks have curly straws in them. <laughs> Just fucking going around. Yeah, there's a popcorn machine in their movie room. Damn, you knew good whites. <clears throat> yeah, but it's like a middle class family, but they still have the popcorn machine. You know you're dealing with white people when there's a popcorn machine. Like white, white, white people got popcorn machine, and then a movie room where it's all. Um, it might be six chairs, but they're all like reclinable. Uh, Recl- what are those? Recliners. <laughs> Reclinable recliners. Reclinable chairs. What are those called? <laughs> Just recliners. Long chairs. Yeah, and then a... Uh, no, no, Car seat. Like a full-blown, a full-blown, like, six lazy boys and a fucking TV. A big fucking TV. Yeah. And a surround sound. Couch. Yeah. 
and then a, a popcorn machine in the back, and then there's like a candy stand, of like boxed Sour Patch Kids. Like and they really Creek. fucking went all out. Yeah, and then you you're... knew rich whites. No, they weren't rich. No, that's is that rich? That's white? rich white. No oh, shit. Yeah, well, <laughs> parts the fuck are, you talking about? Certain they parts. They had that old theater, and then they had their own candy area. Yeah, that would be sick. They That's, had their own specific to, seating for movies. Trying to think of, I knew one girl who her parents owned a porn shop, and they had a mansion, and then they had another mansion. They bought the mansion next door for the pool. So you go to one house, and it's like, you go to one house, and it's their house where they live, but then the other house is like the party house. So for like an entire summer. In eighth grade, I just got shit house drunk. Ba- uh, not Baja Blast. Mountain Dew Voltage had just come out. Taylor, can you Google the year Mountain Dew Voltage came out? That's how I'm gonna date when this was. I think it was 2008. But we were getting fucking. They had a salt water pool, and they God had damn, dude. yeah, they had a salt water pool, and then upstairs they had a uh, fucking air hockey, and fu- 2008, baby. It was the summer of 08, dude. Probably one of the greatest summers of my life. How old are you now? I'm 31. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you were, you were young. I was young. like 15. The blue one. The blue. Mountain Dew Voltage. Ooh, it went so hard. Ooh. Oh, I wish I had one right now. Taylor, can you go to the store and get me I don't, one? Do you know if they still do them? Nah, they still do them. It's such a goaded flavor. Nah, right there, right there. Click that old, old can picture right there. That's what they looked like. What they got rid of. No, the old can photo right there. Revolution? What the hell was Revolution? Revolution, Supernova, and Voltage. I remember Supernova tasted like the purple Skittles. I do remember that. It tasted like tropical Skittles. Damn. So we were drinking that and vodka. And Jesus. Uh, yeah, we were getting fucked up and playing air hockey. I say Jesus. We were drinking 151 and Monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had a fucking air hockey table, and then they had a, what's that, basketball game? With the moving hoop, they had one of those up there. Yeah, I you were just you were you were just hanging out with uh, lower middle class white people. Yeah, no, up, those are like upper middle class like whites for one sure. Per, they're probably Jewish. No, they, own a porn store. Schultz, two house last name Schultz. Yeah, they Jewish, were Jewish. Jewish family. Yeah, you were. You I were was there, partying uh, with the Jews. You dude. were their little golem. <laughs> was their little goy goyim. <laughs> yeah. Your little Shabbos coy. Did they ever make you turn off the lights on Saturday? No. Like, okay, can, Michael, can you come over and turn off the microwave? Oh shit! <laughs> like. Fuck, sure, I guess. Is that because they can't use electronics? Yeah, like on, on, on Saturdays. On, <clears throat> on, on Shabbat. What is it? Shabbat. Shabbat. <clears throat> Shabbat. Shabbats. That's so funny. Just a little... I assume you looked way more Filipino when you were a child for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I did. So you were just this little plump little Filipino guy plump running Plump little guy walking around. I'll show you. You want to see him? Can we watch a movie, please? Can we watch a movie, please? <laughs> Bring your own coconuts. Can I? Yeah, I'm just husking them. <laughs> I'm just on the couch chewing on a coconut. Yeah, that sounds racist, but Filipinos do be ripping coconuts with their bare teeth. I read that in a book when I was young, a book about the Philippines. Damn, I can't find these pictures of me. I have these screenshots of my eighth grade yearbook. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very funny because I'm like, I still look the same, just smaller. <laughs> Got a small little basing. My base is small. Little small base. Small base, getting drunk, drinking getting uh, drunk. Mountain Dew Stop. Voltage, Cussing drinking vodka. Putting in a mouth, buckler. I'm fucking drunking. I'm drunking. I'm drunk. Yeah, I miss that. I miss uh, what was it, what was it like growing up in Alaska? <clears throat> it was great. It was fantastic. We were like ten years behind technology of everybody mm-hmm. because it was like we didn't really have the internet until I was like probably fifteen, sixteen. Whoa. I got like a fucking brick phone when I was like sixteen. Whoa, <clears throat> you're a little, you're only so a little we bit just, older than me. Yeah, I'm thirty six. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, we would just go, we would just leave the house and be gone, and then just uh, my parents would be like, "Well, I hope he shows back up," which is crazy because like people are like, "I won't let my kid walk to school." I was like, "We were like going in the woods with wild animals and just oh, disappearing." I've gotten lost in the woods so many times in my life. <laughs> it's, it's the fucking scary every time too. You think you'd learn? I get, but the the reason in Alaska the woods are amongst the city. Have you been alone? Yeah. And then you just do you hear the? I hear when the, I was like a child, my parents were playing softball and I got lost in the woods next to the softball field. I found those pictures of me. Did you? Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some Mountain Dew voltage <laughs> and vodka, please? 
I'm fucking trashed. <clears throat> yeah, could you imagine this thing being in your house, shit house drunk? <laughs> Can guy? I have some sour pitch? Yeah. Look at the next guy. Boom. Oh yeah, you like wait, you like you lightened up? Yeah, I used to be darker. You were I didn't lighten up. Huh? You were fucking <clears throat> Look at my hair. You're one of them filled fi- field Filipinos. Field field Filipino? <laughs> That's crazy getting You're lost out in the fishing. Woods. Getting oh, it's in. nuts. It's nuts, especially when there's bears and moose and shit. Ugh. So, like, everything you hear, like, you w- start walking slow and then... Crunch. <clears throat> but we had, like, wild animals, like, we had moose walking to school. Moose. And it was, like, pitch black because it gets super dark. You grew up like my wife did. My wife grew up in Montana, so it's, it's kind of like that. Very yeah. similar. That's terrifying. <clears throat> yeah. You see those videos of moose, like, fucking up a dude's truck? Oh, yeah. I've seen moose <clears throat> fuck up a dude. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking stomp a dude. Uh, uh, they just like they do this fucking kick yeah. thing, and then everybody's like, "Yeah," and you get fucked up from that. Yeah, which I'm just like, just run into the lakes. Mm. They can't. They have it's all hooves. Get in, get out of the way of the hooves. Hell no. I've leaned against moose on accident. No, you like don't. I like was like trying to hide from a buddy in some like in a tree, uh-huh. and I like I hit something, and this moose just went running, and I was like. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I can't imagine how I can't imagine how being around a moose would be because I've been in the woods smoking weed, like in the roots of a tree. You know, in a big tree, the roots make like a V shape. Not I've, where I'm from, but yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah they're, they're, well, like a big ass pine I've tree. I've seen like Winnie the Pooh and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big old a, <laughs> one of just these. Sitting I'm there sitting in your, here eating your honey. I'm just <laughs> I'm sitting in the V of the tree roots, <laughs> smoking. Like the roots are like two or three feet above my head. <laughs> And I'm fucking, I'm just down in there just fucking blazing so fucking a bowl. Dark. <laughs> I'm just in the woods smoking a bowl. And then I just hear, and a fucking deer's hauling ass through the woods. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, how do you not get stuck in the fucking, Yeah, they're hauling ass. They're fast and they're strong. People don't, people don't know that. When I wear a hat, I bump it on things. <clears throat> you can't imagine you antlers. fucking antlers, like a 12-point deer running at full speed past you while you're in the woods smoking shitty ass mids and you have a headache and you're all scared. Huh. Just speedballing on Adderall and shitty weed, and just a fucking full-grown male deer gallops by you. Oh my god! You're just a little degenerate twelve-year-old. Yeah. Like out there playing craps in my tree trunk. We did have, yeah, I think we did play craps for a little bit in high school. We were playing dice in high school. You get jumped. You get beat up. We played a uh, we played dice and cards with the the Thai kids. I would walk <clears> in the bathroom and see. Or no, they were like Vietnamese. I would walk in the bathroom in high school and I'd see like six pairs of sagging true, li- true religion jeans and you just hear the <laughs> clickety clack of dice hitting the tile wall of the bathroom. I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Somebody's about to get fucking jumped over $36. Somebody's about to get their head bashed in on a porcelain sink for $14. I got to get out of here. They'll think I'm part of it. We had a lot of Samoans, so we never, <clears throat> really, had, we never really had fights because they all Too knew big. each other and then like you're not fighting Samoans. Yeah, they're big. And then I was in, I did football. I was like in football, and then I did the Polynesian Club. So I was just an honorary Samoan. <clears throat> you are probably the most Samoan esque white I know, just off shoes. They always size. try to make you sing when you're trying to hang out with them. Like, come on, brother, sing. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. Sing with us, brother. Sing. <laughs> come on, you got the deep voice. Come on, brother. We're going to do over the rainbow. <laughs> We're doing over the rainbow. Come on, come brother. Come on, us, us, us. <laughs> And then they're like, they fucking just harmonize beautifully. And then you're like, oh, they're like, hey, it's not so good. <laughs> it's okay. He's a white boy. <laughs> what does Samoans sound like? Uh, like? Like Hawaiian. Hawaiian, brother. Hey, brother. Bruda. Us. Hey, us. Us is, is bro, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> brother, us. us. Brother, us. It's like cousin, I think. Yeah, it's funny. It's, it's I'm bro or cousin or something like cuz that. Cuz or some shit, yeah. They have such chill. The Islanders have such chill slang. They're like the nicest people, but the most violent. Because mm-hmm. when you have the power to exacerbate great violence, everybody's super chill. Everyone's super chill when you can fuck everyone up. Yeah. Like, if I have the ability to fuck you up, I'm going to be the nicest guy ever because I'm not, there's no fear. There's you no threat. Yeah. yeah, you don't react out of fear. That's there's no anxiety. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if people were like, sorry I made fun of you. I was like, you have, you're in no way threatening to me. Yeah, I'm not a big dude either, but I will <laughs> fuck you up. Yeah. I'm not a big dude. Well, but you, you were, you know, smoking jimmies and tree trunks when you were a child. You are a little bit tougher than a lot more, a lot of other people. Yeah, I was hit Climbing more. trees with your feet, bare feet. I love doing comedy, and I can be like, all right, child abuse or theater kid? 
And then I'm like, oh, theater kid. And it's always the theater kid gets in a position of power and he can't fucking. They got to tell everybody what they're allowed to say. And, yeah, theater and they kids. they book all their friends and then they're, why is the room dead? <laughs> no, it's comedy. They just don't like it. Or it's just like the dude who's like never, like, he wasn't like a loser in high school, but he just wasn't, he never tried to be anything. Like, he, he just assumed jocks hated him. Mm. Well, so, comedy? Yeah. Do you think that's like a third type? That's like a like a major type. It's just the, the kind of person who thinks like in cliques. Mm. I never thought I, I never was in a clique in high school. I don't think I. I mean, either I was like a, a friend of all mm. cliques. Like I was like all state football, but I was still playing like Yu Gi Oh in the, <laughs> the that's a good, cafeteria. Yeah, that's a good balance. It's a good balance to have because I don't. I don't really have any cliques. In, there's cliques in Austin's comedy, but I don't. I know I hate cliques. It's, I, I just kind of I want to be around. friends with who I want to be friends with. I float around. I'm very weary of who I become friends with, too, because I've been fucked over a lot, and people are... I have many reasons to distrust people, because people don't make friends right. People want to be friends with people to get shit, and yeah. I'm like, man... How long have you been doing this? 11 years, next month. Same. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I have so many, st- so many knives in the back that I'm just like, okay. Yeah. I have, like, two friends I trust. Right. And then, like, <laughs> that's not, probably not even that. Everybody, it seems like... Like, you're probably going to edit this to where I'm just, it's just me saying the N-word the whole time. No. And I'm like, I only said it half the time. This is bullshit. No. We do. <laughs> we have very low budget. We do one shot. All those yawning, all the yawning and coughing, that's staying in. Good. Yeah. It's authentic. That's why people like it. Because they like hanging out with me. So I'm like, well, I want to... Hey, man, it's cool. Pe- cry. I know. I am crying. I'm yawning so much, I'm crying. so emotional. This is what happens when I don't get my Red Bull. I'm crying. <laughs> And I also just lost a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, like, before I got <laughs> And I keep bringing it up. I feel terrible. I fucking lost the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Dude, and I think that was a sign from God where he was like, yeah, don't don't, don't go down this rabbit hole, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh's the fucking worst now. You it, can't, I, it's, un, it's unplayable. I try, yeah. Because they keep, <laughs> well, the thing with Yu-Gi-Oh is, is they're like, new card that beats all the other cards. And go it's buy like it. Combo, so you win in for, it's like, this is boring. This is gay. Mm-hmm. I hate this shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Digimon was getting like that. That's why I stopped playing. And then, like, at the time, my cards were worth a shitload of money, mm-hmm. and now they're worth, like, nothing. What, Digimon cards? Yeah. Yeah, the Digimon IP is just in the shitter. But it was, I think Digimon was cooler than Pokemon. It they was had for- one of the coolest games ever on PlayStation 1. It was, like, yeah. a free world. It was, like, an open world where all of them were 3D, and it's like, real-time battling. It was pretty sick. I didn't know how to play it. I had it. You know what I'm talking about? I never got out of the starting area. I don't know. Digimon World, I think, was the name of the game. Yeah. And it was, like, from an above point view, and you're walking around at a quarter. The guy, your character was, like, at a quarter view, and then you had yeah, your little yeah, Digimon yeah. following behind you. Yeah, it was, like, the Super Mario Brothers RPG. It view. did look like that, yeah, top view, yeah. quarter angle. I like games like that. Digimon, oh, yeah, picture of me. Digimon World, PS1. I'll always be a Pokemon guy, though. Every time a Pokemon game comes out, I gotta play it. Ah, uh, Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Game game, not like the fucking photography ones. Uh, like, Take a po- picture of Pikachu. Pokemon Snap was yeah, pretty fun. Was yeah, a... Digimon, Digimon World. Yes, dude, with the it teddy bear on the front. pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, that was sick. I just sucked at it. I didn't know what to do. I was too young to play it. Yeah, too... I didn't have reading comprehension <laughs> until I was in, like, sixth grade. Well, as well as all in Japanese, too, so... It was cool because the Poorly Pokemon trans- games game. never had the the little monsters. Yeah, like, they were doing that. With you. They were ahead of their time, for sure. Like N- they Now had, they do, but, yeah, this was, like... They, yeah, if Pokemon had a 3D game at this time, which was, like, 99 when this came out... Digimon just released a fucking game where they just scammed everybody. <clears throat> They're like, it's gonna be this great game, and it looks so fun. Like, it had, like looks similar to this. And then it's just a fucking interactive book. It was like a sixty dollar interactive book. I was like, this Ugh. fucking bullshit. I was Ugh. so mad. I don't I was like, like hyped for I it. I don't like it when video games feel like interactive media. Like uh, it's not a game. It's just you're clicking to the next. It was part. literally that. What you do you do next? Click. click. That. And then Aguman lost his ball, and you're like, fuck. Dude. Next order is that it? That was like Digimon Story. Which hindsight, story Digimon Story. You know, you think. <laughs> yeah. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Mm, Look at that. No, right Cyber there. Sleuth. Whoa, oh, that looks fun. Cyber Sleuth is. <coughs> it's like hit or miss. It's good and bad at the same time. That looks fun as fuck. Maybe it's I like story. RPGs, man. I do too. RPGs are where it's at. But uh, there is I one. I like, uh, like CRPGs. Yeah. Like that top down, like turn based. Yeah, I like turn based RPGs. I miss old J. Uh, 
Japanese RPGs like uh, Final Fantasies. I beat Final Fantasy X finally during uh, the pandemic. I did too. You did? Yeah. And then I went to play like 10, 10 1 or whatever it was. 10, 10 2. 2. And I'm like, you changed all the fucking battle mechanics. I they're hate smart. This. They're smart because they, I think they released that remake, Final Fantasy X remake, during the pandemic. They did. Yeah, and you buy you buy it on you PS2. Yeah. You buy it on PS4 I, store. I bought them on a Switch. Sick. Oh yeah, dude. Final Fantasy X on Switch sounds fucking hard. What? Yeah. That sounds incredible. <laughs> the Switch is the best thing in the world. I love. The I Switch. wish they you could get more adult games. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> But I tried to play Overwatch on Switch and it's fucking dog shit. It's just the the holding of the Switch and you need the triggers a lot. Yeah. I find myself like I'll play it on TV <laughs> and I'll just have the controls like this, just be like laying. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> just <laughs> it's the most fat lazy I can get at playing a video game. It's just I don't even have to hold my hands together. <laughs> Cause, like this. That's because I'm to- I'm so fat that if I hold my hands like this for too long, laying on a couch, my arm falls asleep. Oh no. So I have to be like <laughs> like extending my blood vessels. Uh, I think I'm. I think, I think Metal Gear Solid remake is coming out. Speaking of, uh, I don't think single there's release dates. So. I can never. I never got into Metal Gear. Oh, uh, they're good. They're good. They're so good. This is Metal I'm Gear Solid. Huge... The one they're remaking is the one that I first played. Yeah. That I fell in love. I get bored with with strictly sneak. Like the Hitman games and like stuff like that. Where That's what I like about this one is each section you can shoot everyone or you can hide. Yeah. There's no release date. There's videos of people playing their first play. Like I think IGN or some kind of gaming channel released their first play. Oh, they play. release them like two months in advance now. Like if you're like a popular YouTuber, you just get to play video games. Like two, two, two months in advance. Remember when you were a kid and they were like, yeah, you can be a video game tester. Everyone wanted to be a video game tester in 2004. Yeah, they didn't realize what it was. It's a shitty job. It's, it's a, a terrible horrible job. job. I lived, in, I lived in Seattle when it was like a big thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll go fucking try it out. And they're like, well, you just play video games and you, and down. they don't work. Mm-hmm. And then you just have to write down. <laughs> it's like, Ugh. You're a tester. So yeah. you fucking find, you find bugs. Yeah. So you get to enjoy the game at its worst. Yeah. It's like buying alpha now. Like oh. pre-alpha. Oh. Where yeah, there's like no mechanics in the game. Oh, we, we'll just sell them the game before it's finished and then they'll let us know. Why would we pay people to do that? Ew, you nasty motherfuckers. Dude. I don't mind that, actually. I like it. So you can get them cheap. Mm-hmm. You get a cheap game years before it comes out, and then what you do is you play it for like a, like 10 hours, uh-huh. then you just forget about it for a year. Then you come back to it. It's a brand new game. You have a whole new game to play. I have so many games like that that are just were pre-alpha when I bought them. I wanted to play Cyberpunk real bad. Did you ever? Did you? Were you hyped they for on, Cyberpunk? They had it on sale for like $3. That's good. Is it? Yeah. It, it's good now. It's, it's really good, good now. now. Yeah, a little fixed, repetitive, but it's they good. They fixed it. It's, it was a little bit, it was one of those little, too little, too late things that they did. A little too when late. They, yeah. When they fixed it, but then the, they fixed it. It's fucking. From what I understand, yeah, it works now. from what I understand, it's like Starfield with cars. Grand Theft Auto yeah. and Starfield mixed together. I never uh, played Starfield. <clears throat> but it's it is, pretty good. Um, Starfield's all right. I got it on sale for like five bucks. Starfield? No. Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk. It's more like Fallout. Than more like Fallout. Yeah, I'd say it's more like Fallout. Yeah. But like pretty. Pretty. I got a pretty decent computer. I need to upgrade my CPU. Yeah, I'm a pretty decent computer. I got like a 30, like, I have I like can, a 3060 in mine. Everything's like you could do ray tracing. It's like no, you can't. I don't want. No, but nothing can do ray tracing. You have to have like a ten thousand dollar computer. I don't want it. I don't. I don't know. As long as it can play games like my Xbox does, and then I can watch YouTube. And, yeah. Well, um, I bought an Xbox controller. So I, a, I just I play. I have a PS5. Uh, I have a PS5 Pro controller. Like no, that, that's what bucks. I have. I have a PS5 regular camouflage one that I got for like 20 bucks. I went to the store, it was like 70 bucks, and I looked online and it was like on sale for 20 bucks. And I go, You I guys honor this? That. And they're like, Yeah. And I, I go, love doing Fuck, that. it's sweet. I love doing that. Even the guy was like, God damn. Yeah. Or it's sometimes people just kind of huff and puff because they don't know how to do it. So they get their manager over <laughs> and you're like, I'm a special little boy. Not this guy. He's special a, little boy price. He was a ponytailed white. Oh, yeah, the ponytailed white always <laughs> knows how to do that You stuff. know you're in good hands when it comes to nerd shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to you go to a GameStop. I miss when GameStop used to just hire the ponytailed white guys. Now you go in and it's fat, autistic, trans people. Have yeah. you been to a GameStop recently? It's like a fucking 230-pound dude in a tutu and a zip-up hoodie and makeup. And I'm like, what the fuck happened to my country? I have about a physical fucking copy of anything in forever. I know, but I go for the Switch games. I like having Switch games in a physical copy. I like Makes the sense. little chip. Switch is the best for airplanes. 
Oh, I haven't. I haven't. I got this thing that hangs on the back of the seat. Oh, sick. and you can put the switch there and just fucking sit there. With the <laughs> <laughs> just He's fucking, just in economy. Uh, just some guy's got my thumb in his fucking face. <laughs> a guy's sleeping, and you're just. What are you playing over there? <laughs> <laughs> you already take up so much space on the airplane. I, Dude, I sit small. I'm very I'm sitting next to you, and you fucking <sighs> start pulling out accessories. <laughs> Texting I'm, my wife, this fucking dude. I'm German Catholic and Alaskan. I'm yeah. very spatial conscious. Yeah. I don't like bothering people. That's why, like, when I come to, like, like when I come to places where that's not American-born people, they don't give a fuck about, they just bump and push and grind into everybody, stop in the middle of the way, and I'm like, ugh. Like, the white in me is like, be polite. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be polite. We had stop some, bothering people. We had, like, some kind of Europeans behind us. I went to the, uh... I went to this 44 stories up in the air thing in New York, and we're in line, and they stepped on my heels like six times in line. Oh. I hate that. I hate when somebody steps on your fucking heels. I don't I, know how you got to six. After the second one, I would have been like, what you doing? Being polite. My white side's like, oh, they're I'm not polite, from but here. I'm very confrontational. They're not from here. Just let them. You know, they're uh, visiting. Your, it's your wife's fault. Yeah. Got an alpha. <clears throat> Now, my wife has made me a sweeter person. I'm fucking <laughs> horrible. I was a horrible dude for a bit. My problem is I dated a, a Mexican girl for a little bit, so she loved when I would just oh, get yeah, after they, people. Oh, yeah. She's like, I love when you yell at people. She's like, you, you yelled at that guy. I was like, oh, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I was like, all right. She said that. She's like, I love when you're just so mean to people. I love it when you yell at him. <laughs> when you're jelly. <laughs> I love when you're jelly. <laughs> when you yell at that guy, are you so wet? Chill at the guy. I get it so good. The agua in my pussy is so good. <laughs> Snap into a slim gym, brother. <laughs> Mexico, you are you dating you're gonna Mexico? Have to suck on my titties on the way home, man. <laughs> dating Mexican macho walk out. man. She's like fucking this, walking out like this. <laughs> so so what's up, fucker? Don't fucking mess with my man. <laughs> Don't mess. He's gonna tear you apart, eh? Whose pussy is this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's your pussy. Digame, digame. Qual oh, pussy? Oh shit, dude, I'm about to come. Qual? <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs> God, I'm rubbing the sleepies out of my eyes. Dangle, quit touching your face. Dangle sueño in my face is red, huh? Your eyes are red. Yeah. Been drinking that vodka, Serge. Oh, no, I'm not drinking. I quit drinking. Finally. I started drinking. When? <laughs> I, fucking, I just was never a huge drinker, and I'm like, now I'm like, have a drink when you go out. Be cool. <laughs> and I just I just don't get drunk, so it doesn't, it's like, takes too much. Yeah. I'm just consuming and consuming and consuming, and I'm like, oh, I'm slightly tipsy. It, take, it was taking a lot for me to get drunk, and in the point, it would get to the point where I'd be buzzed, or like, I'd feel nothing at all. <laughs> And then I'd have one more drink, and then it would all hit me like a train at once, and I'm like, good fucking God. Yeah. Like, literally, like, four hours of drinking, and then the last 20 minutes, I'm absolutely shithoused. I'm like, I felt nothing this yeah. whole time. By the time, it's like, by the time everybody's ready to leave, I'm like, I'm having fun now. Yeah. That, like, oh, no, we gotta drive now. <laughs> it's like, fuck, dude. Yeah, that's the worst. And I just ride my scooter around downtown. Yeah, your scooters are gnarly. <laughs> I love, I, dude. We, we, gotta like, go, we gotta go for a ride. We like a lot of the same shit. I like a good e-scooter, man. Yeah. I got addicted to him when I was when I had a job. <clears throat> what are you doing? How are you living right now? How are you surviving? You got I just a bunch hustle, of money? Just hustle. hustle. I, I had a lot of money saved. Well, not, my grandma died, gave me a bunch of money. Nice. I'm uh, sorry, but nice. Yeah. Some people have fa family members die. Guess what? Now you just, you just have dead family member. You well, don't we get thought anything. we thought we were gonna get. She, she fucking she did worked her magic. We just got. I mean, not a lot, but enough to help me live. And I, I've always been poor. So, like, when I got money, I just kept doing poor guy shit. So, like, I have no bills. Like, I have very, right. very few bills. I had a, I just had a guy move in just to cut rent in half because I'm like, whatever. And I'm, like, getting lonely. <clears throat> so fucking Austin, people aren't friends. Like, they're nice. They're nicer than Dallas, but they're just not. Like, nobody wants to hang out. I have been hanging out recently. I've been trying. I've been hanging out Forcing myself to get out of the house. Mm-hmm. There's so much to do here, too, but everybody feels so separated. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody thinks the 20-minute drive is fucking a long drive, and it's like, it's nothing. No, it's nothing. <laughs> it's just difficult getting around here sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. But I'm like, let's go shoot. Let's go fucking. Oh, yeah, let's go shoot. Let's go ride the scoots. Let's like, go Like, off-roading on the scooters, I'll take you. Let's It'll go fucking shoot. change your world. 
Yeah, Everybody's yeah. like, oh, it's. And then you get no, on I've it. No, I've shot before. It, no, or no, no. Scooter? Scootin', off road scooting. Because my scooters off-road are for off road. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's like do going that. on like paths and shit. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I take people, like, because people will be like, uh, it sounds kind of gay. And then you get on it and they're like, this is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Anything motorized is mm. fun. Yeah. I've noticed things like if it's like, yo, like I've, I've been trying to put together um, an Austin go karting event. I'm like, I'm trying to yeah. get like 15 comics. And we're all just gonna put the sixty dollars or seventy dollars down, and just go karting with the boys. Ah, uh, fucking fun house day, fun day. I'm trying to go kart with the they boys, a, maybe throw some axes. Out west, where a good gun range is, they got an off road dirt track that you can rent, like ATVs. <clears throat> I don't know what it costs, but I don't think it's that much. And it's just you just go dirt, just go we fucking dirt that. ride. Taylor, you trying to go go karting, dude? Hell yeah. Do you like go karts? Yeah. I love I haven't go-karts. Done it in a while. I love anything motorized. You look like Bowser on a go kart. I bet, like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I look, yeah. just, well, I look like this standing. Shoulders. I look like I have a shell standing. So, <laughs> yeah, you are my most turtle esque friend. It's, just, it's COVID. COVID ruined me. Yeah, me too. I just laid and just when I, I lay down, even, I lay like this. I can't even cough in public anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's you on the fucking scooter. Who 100%, am I? That's me driving my normal car. I'm Yoshi. I, I'm Yoshi. No. Who you're am Toadstool. I? I'm Toad, yeah. Fuck. No, you're Shy Guy. Shy Guy. Shy Guy. Oh, yeah, that is me. All right, yeah, backwards hat. I'll give you Shy Guy. This he's got the samurai sword. Yeah, look at the hyper-realistic Shy Guy with the Jesus. mask off. It's like, a, it's like a Meat Canyon version. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? Dude, my goal one day is to just get Meat Canyon. Meat Canyon is funny. I like that guy a lot. Oh. He does a. Uh, I've seen clips of him and uh, Joel. I think his name. No, Noel Miller. I was gonna say Joel Miller. Noel Miller. Yeah, I've seen that guy at Creek. I think Noel Miller is Filipino too. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's Filipino. Just go up to white. Nah, not that. Not that Filipino. <laughs> not Filipino enough to know hello. Yeah, How but are like, you? <laughs> I don't like. I don't like pretending to be Filipino. I love it. I suck at it. That's I'm not. I'm, I'm not kidding. Filipino at all. I suck at it. I just like eating the food, and it's only the ones that I like. We'll go get a bowl of Sinigang soon. Sinigang? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a... It's a uh, I probably do by sight. Yeah, it's like a... Because I didn't know half the shit I was It's a cabbage eating. soup. Oh. It's sour. It's got vinegar in it. It's mm. really good for you. Sounds Irish. Yeah, it's a cabbage-based, vinegar-based soup, and they put big, fat, boiled chunks of pork in it, and it's crazy. <laughs> Just loose cubes of pork that, like, disintegrate upon biting because they've been boiling in vinegar. Yeah, that's pretty much all. Like, almost all Filipino food is, like, braised mm-hmm. for, like, long times. And it Cooked, just, yeah. And it, the bones boiled. in there. Yep, boiled, you braised. You can't just eat Filipino. You have to scavenge. Pick, you have to pick through it. Yeah, you have to, like, otherwise you'll die. <laughs> just sucking on a fucking bone. Fucking, you know what I hated? The fucking, <clears throat> those lychee candies. Oh, yeah. They came in the little tubes. They go... <laughs> I, I like those. Oh, I fucking those hate Those big them. gummy cup things. And they had like, it's it's my problem is I I can't stand a liquid with a hard, with something in. It. <laughs> Just you the know chunks what I mean? of fruit in there yeah, yeah, that yeah. bothers you. Like a yogurt with like can chunks I, of fruit. Can I, I have my it. Jello with no fruit in it? <laughs> I, I, like a jam. Yeah, a jam. Or like a pie. Like you get like a cherry pie if it has chunks of cherries in it. I'm like. Ugh. Do you wanna um? Do you have anything you wanna promote or let them know about for Austin I'm folks? Switch over to the Patreon. Uh, We're going to Patreon soon. Every Saturday at sunset. Mm-hmm. I have a show at 11 p.m. called uh, Punchlines and Punishments. You're on it, but you just this will come out afterwards. Yeah, it's I'm fun. On it. yeah. Comics go up, do their time, but they have to do kooky shit during it. Yeah, they do a set with what, like a, you spin the wheel or something. Yeah, some guy's gonna have to wrestle me this weekend. So. Oh, sick! While they do their set. slam someone through a fucking folding. I table. got a full onesie. <laughs> I got a fucking. I got a wrestling singlet with wrestling earmuffs and everything. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking. I can. T- I see. I can tell you what's gonna happen. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it's you. Oh, okay. I'm hoping you get that one. Oh, man, no. Because I'll fucking, I'll wrestle you a little bit harder. Wrestle than you? Else. Harder than everyone else because we're friends? Thanks, dude. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate <laughs> you guys uh, watching episode 50 of Radio Ridley Radio. What We talk about fucking Digimon. We talked about Yu-Gi-Oh. A lot of weird shit you wouldn't expect these two guys to talk. Maybe me. My hypersexual Mexican girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Again. I'm with the coon, dude. <laughs> What's your Instagram, brother? Uh, it's at Spencer O'Neill. So just type in S-P-E-N-S-E-R and I'll come up. There you go. All right. I love you guys. Come see us on the Patreon. Adios. Bye-bye. You're listening to the R3 Podcast.